for health care under the Affordable Care Act is now underway. But if you didn't sign up last year, Fox 43's Amber Solisan has more what you need to know this time around. For many, last year's enrollment process for health care under the Affordable Care Act was frustrating. With open enrollment for 2015 underway, here are some things to keep in mind. If you signed up last year, you should have received a renewal notice in the mail with instructions. You can renew online at healthcare.gov. If you didn't sign up last year, there are enrollment sessions at clinics throughout the state. What we dealt with last year is people who haven't had health insurance for years. And it's kind of trying to bridge that gap to see, like, how we can best communicate that this is something that people do need. You'll need your driver's license, social security card, and pay stubs. Your insurance premium will be based on your age and income. So the older you are, the more you'll have to pay. If you make less than $11,670 and are on Medicaid, you don't qualify. The purpose of the health care law is to provide insurance to those not covered by Medicaid but can't afford insurance. It's a great thing for people. I mean, you can go out, you can see a doctor, but not only that, you can go to the hospital without accruing a huge bill. If you don't plan on signing up at all, it will cost you. The penalties have increased from $95 last year to as much as $162.50 for kids. If you're single, it's now a $325 penalty or 2% of your income. And if your entire family isn't insured, that will cost you $975. Here are some important dates. Everyone has until February 15th of 2015 to sign up. But if you want your 2015 health care coverage to start by January 1st, then you need to sign up by December 15th. In York, I'm Amtisola Fox 43 WPMT.